going on guys Nas here on the Spooling Up channel um, today what I'm going to be doing is showing the BMW 330ci a little bit of TLC specifically I'm going to be changing this um, bottom centre bumper grill um, it's well known that they sort of become a little bit faded and um, parts of them begin to peel off and it turns grey instead of black so what I'm going to be doing is I've bought a brand new OEM one so I'm going to be swapping it out today which means taking the front bumper off so without further ado let's get started right so you will have to forgive how dirty my car is at the moment but the problem is we have a hose pipe van here where I live in the UK but you can see just how kind of deteriorated um, this bottom bumper grill is so what I'm going to do take this bumper off um, swap it out and then hopefully it gives the car a much better look it's a shame I couldn't do it while the car was nice and clean so that it would look extra good in the end but have to make do with what we um, with what we've got at the moment in the UK with this hose pipe van now I'll be starting off um, inside the inner wheel arches to remove this bumper so the first thing I've done is turned my wheel out so I can get good access to the little 8mm bolts you can just see them in here one right here and one just a little bit further in so I'm going to get a little quarter drive ratchet and 8mm socket and remove them on both sides of the car here is a better look at the other side wheels actually turned in so maybe it's easy enough without turning the wheel twice just to turn them to one side and you should be able to access both sides now I don't have an under tray fitted to this car at the moment but there are several things that you need to remove underneath one of them being this black plug type thing um, I've removed it on the other side already, it's just a little popper. You need to pull the centre piece out and then the whole insert and everything else will come out as well and it free up the bumper at the bottom. If you do have an under tray, there's normally another 8mm up here and various ones along the underside of the bumper that also need to be removed in order for you to take this front bumper off. Now I do not know if everybody will have the same fixings on their bumper and under tray as I sort of have on mine but um, these are fairly simple once you pull the middle part out it allows these kind of prongs to close back up and then you can pull it all the way out when it's fully pushed in as you can imagine it keeps them spread out hence stopping um, whatever it's fixing falling off but anyway now that's done we've got a few more bits to remove and um, then we should be able to take the bumper off so back underneath the car now we have two large holes we should be able to get a ratchet and an extension bar up there the other one is literally just on the other side and we should be able to get um, our ratchet and extension up there with an E12 socket I'll show you what it looks like and um, remove some of the bigger bolts holding this front bumper on right so here is the E12 socket not that commonly used really to be honest with you haven't come across it a lot um, but some of the car manufacturers do use them so I'm using the E12 socket and an extension bar roughly this long and I've just checked and it just about gets onto the bolts that we need to get to so let me just show you exactly how I'm getting onto them and um, undoing those ones right now I have actually already um, cracked this one off purely because I didn't want the embarrassment of not being able to do it on camera but i um, just going to get them undone on both sides now and then see where we're at okay so I've got those two vertical E12 bolts um, out now from the bumper I would really really like to give a good clean behind this bumper both on the back of the bumper and um, the front of the engine bay but without a hose it's really difficult so I'll have to leave it to um, a later date but um, yeah let's see if it will come off now and um i'll just give it a little bit of a pull don't want to be too forceful don't want to break anything but um let's see where we're left at now 
Okay, so I've managed to get the bumper off. Unfortunately, I was recording pulling it off. All I did was started from the middle and gave it a good wiggle and the whole thing slid out of the way. Disconnected the um, fog lights and the horn on either side. Pulled the bumper out of the way. Unfortunately, something with this bumper is broken. It's one of these side plates here, one of these mounting brackets. Um, it wouldn't actually come off with the bumper it's stuck to the car somehow so what I'm gonna do is get that off and try my best to mold it back onto the bumper before I go and refit it okay so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna clean the whole of the inside of this bumper up a so that it goes back on nice and fresh B so that I can bond that bracket back on and I also want to be able to have it nice and clean because I don't want to be putting a fresh new part on a dirty old bumper so let's go ahead and start cleaning it up okay guys so while I've been at the back of this bumper here cleaning it all up getting it ready for the um, bracket to be mounted and so on and so forth I've just been unclipping this part of the grill round here which actually um, helps hold this other piece in place so I'm just going to work my way around it now and unclip it all the way around and then um, get that piece off and then we'll give it a good clean up once we've removed it all right so now this piece is off we're going to set it aside because it doesn't come new with the other piece that I bought so we're going to reuse that there's absolutely nothing wrong with it and then we're going to do exactly the same unclip the actual part of the grill that we're going to replace um, all the way around and then yep I'll just continue cleaning it all up I'm not too sure what to do with this piece because obviously I'm not going to use it again and I don't think respraying it is a good and easy option but I may keep it as a spare just in case okay so here is the old grill look at the state of it it's pretty much changed colour everywhere but luckily I've got a new one give me two seconds <clears throat> right so here's the new one as you can see it's perfect it is genuine from BMW as well so ready to just get this fitted now and clip it into place right so now the new bottom grill is um, all clipped in to place it's time to just put this surround back on here um, so you remember how we removed it just unclipping it just got to clip all of that back in and then I can turn my attention to getting that bumper bracket sorted right so that is all done and into place time to stick this back on there all I've done is I've got some sort of rubbing alcohol methylated spirit whatever to um, clean the areas up just so there's no dirt oil grime on them and I have a Gorilla Glue um, epoxy kind of thing so I'm going to prep the area all up and get that stuck back on and hopefully use these clamps to um, keep it nice and secure. Okay, so while I was out here the other day doing this job, I noticed something really um, annoying. Something had actually broken on my car. Um, it's this piece here. As you can see, this is complete. It comes all the way down and it tucks itself in underneath the bumper now it's partly responsible for holding this nice and sturdy as well when you come to the other side you can see it's completely broken and all that part that lays underneath is missing so that leaves this really flimsy as well so what I've done I've gone to BMW and I've bought a brand new genuine part so I'm going to go ahead and get that fitted before I mount the bumper back up Right, so here is the new complete piece ready to go on. Um, as you can see, it's actually held in by another screw in right by the wheel, but because this one's got so much of it missing, there was just a little bod screw there, and obviously the two that we've taken off earlier, and the one underneath, if you've had to undo that also. When I place this on top of this one, you can see just how much was missing so let's go ahead get this new piece on I think I paid 50 pounds from BMW for this so um, let's go get this mounted up 
Right, so we're all good to go here now. I've got the duct hooked back up and this is secure just underneath that duct. There's a clip here where it slides onto and I've obviously got my screw right in the back that I did from inside the wheel arch so we're good to go on this side now. Just a quick final clean up and then I'll be putting the bumper on. Um, I'll give you guys a look at the bumper in a sec. That's all done now as well. Right, so the bumper's ready to go back on now. Everything's all done. Brackets bonded nicely. New grill piece in. It's time to get it clicked back into place. So I'm just going to lift this up, put this on. Um, reattach the fog lights and the horns. And then start screwing it all back together. And um, see how she looks. Okay, so front bumper is almost back on only thing I'm just gonna show you is this strip along here was the tiniest bit tight going back in so I just put a bit of lubrication on it and um, now it's literally sliding back on so all I've got to do now is secure it and we're pretty much done okay so all done now new grill is in place the only thing I'm annoyed about is that I didn't change that back head bracket that clicks over the grill because as I look at it a little bit closer it's actually flaked off and I knew it was but I just didn't think that it would be that visible but gladly um, I'm really happy because I've managed to fix um, that side and replace that lower piece of the inner wheel arch and I've also fixed this bracket because it was kind of bodged up over there and the last thing I have to do is just order a couple of um, fixings for this bumper because I'd realised people had lost bits over the years and they'd used normal self tapping screws so on and so forth and I don't want that kind of stuff on my car so I'm going to get some of the proper fixings and um, it's just two that are missing and then that will be this job fully complete. Okay, so now that all those things are fixed, um, that's a little bit of TLC done on this BMW. There are more things that need to be done um, in terms of just trying to keep the car good because I've let a few things slip on it. I think I've had it for about five years now. Um, so there's a few more things to do, but I'll get on with that as the sort of um, weeks roll by. Um, guys, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content and I'll see you on the next video. Oh, <laughs>